under or over six goals. Schalke <laughs> at plus 1450, Bayern Munich at minus 650. It is under or over four with the uh, over four at plus 100. That means we look straight down to the bottom right and see what Bayern are. Bayern are plus 130 to score four. Draw is at plus 765. Well, that's just no good at all. I'm interested to see, Alex, how anybody, you tell me about this game because I want to have a little sneaky ba- uh, look here and see who's actually put this in the uh, in the selections. I'm oh, very, I can tell you. Very... <laughs> well, no, I don't need, uh, yeah. I'm glad, I'm, I've just looked, I've just looked and one doesn't shock me. I'm very shocked with the, the odds we are receiving on Bayern in the first half against a team like Schalke that they love to destroy 4-0, 8-0, 5-0, and so on in the Bundesliga in the last four games. So, and uh, for whoever is watching Bayern, because I get a lot of comments, uh, you're watching too many Bayern's games, you're, you're uh, going with Bayern, you are, again you're going with Bayern. I'm going with Bayern because it cashes, you know. Yes, uh, I, um, I, I lost uh, against Hertha. Uh, because I had them as a banker, minus 1.5, but I would take that bet again and again if uh, if it is to, to them to play again in the same kind of match. But uh, Bayern are starting like a Ferrari in the first half. They want to finish their opponents off. Uh, they want to have uh, a stre- uh, no stress uh, a second half. So that will happen also now against the team Schalke that they uh, conceded 30 goals in 14 games, that they are last in the standings, that they have a very poor record against uh, uh, Bayern. And again, I think that uh, the 6-1 uh, against uh, ba- uh, Werder might repeat, as you said. We might have another game like uh, like that one. So over four goals is absolutely on the cards uh, here. But I'm taking two bets from the first half of the game. What are they then? Uh, Almost some kind I, of mime reader. Yeah, I think you know them already. I am taking Bayer first half minus one at plus 100. So in case they win by the first half by only one goal, it's a Free push. Hit. And I'm going with over 1.5 goals in the first half, not Bayer's. Total game. Maybe, maybe Schalke will score. Uh, minus 133. Yeah, I'm not having Schalke scoring, to be honest. Uh, Schalke, plus 110. They'll huff and they'll puff, and I don't see him blowing any houses down. Uh, Kev, I'm not even going to bother with uh, stealing your funder. Where are you going? Uh, well, I'm going for Musiala again, and again, it comes down to <laughs> when you look down that list of scorers, right? You look at Gidabri, you look at Zane. Mane is obviously injured, so he's not applicable at the moment. You look at Super Moting, and they're all around about evens or maybe even shorter. And one stands out in the list, and that is Jamal Musiala. Because, again, there is a guy who is pigeonholed as a midfielder, and he is. But if anybody watches him play, he's part of that fluid front four. He's added goals to his game this season, and he is on incredible form right now. So, again, if you think that Bayern are going to score a lot of goals here, and I do... They've got 80 in all competitions already. It's November yeah. and they've got 80 goals already. Yeah. So, you know, that just makes perfect sense. What's interesting about this just generally is who the coach is. Because Thomas Rice, if you think of what he did uh, in with Borkum against Bayern last season, I think he lost 7-0 in Munich. But then he had that incredible Borkum win um, in the home game. Now... I'm not saying he's going to repeat that, but it's just quite interesting. And I think it's an evening game. I think the fans will be up for it. Yes, Bayern smash them all the time. And I'm expecting a hefty Bayern win again. But I'll just be really interested to see what the chronology of this is and how Schalke start the game. They obviously won in midweek. That was a really big win for them. So let's see how it goes. I think it'll be quite an intriguing game. Uh, I think the minus one first half. Is very, very good at plus 100. That's almost like a free hit. People on the chat are saying that Sadio Mane is not playing. Yes, he's not playing. But you look at the depth of the squad. When Mane was replaced uh, against Werder Bremen by uh, Sane, after that, uh, uh, Bayern Munich scored five goals. Yeah, so, and it's a lineup uh, check. 
it's a lineup check if you're going to do it any time goal scorers. And and the other thing is when teams play against uh, Bayern, they defend maybe two yards inside their own 18 yard box. So these so called midfielders, worst case scenario, they're 25 yards from goal. That's the other one. You know, you think about midfielders. Okay, that's 10 yards one side of the halfway line, 10 yards on the other. Musiala's picking the ball up five yards outside the 18 yard box. Any one, two, any slip down the side, Ian crosses. They've got three or four bodies in there. That's why we always say you go with Sane, Mane, Gnabry, Goretzka, Chuba Motang. You can go for who you like because none of them are too far away from the goal and they're all technically good enough to pull the trigger. So you are getting such unbelievable value for such talented players that are allowed to be. It's almost like an archer back in the day. He's never far away from his target. So, yeah, you're getting plus 150 for Musiala. You're getting my, plus 100 for minus one on Bayern Munich against Schalke, who are probably the worst side. I mean, I think the Schalke are worse than Bochum, and I think they're both in the same boat. But Schalke, evening game, uh, you've, got to, uh, you've got to show a little bit of respect. But maybe what is uh, Bayern and over three and a half? That'll be interesting. So I think that's probably the way to go. But again, I don't expect it to be a, a really... Uh, really good value. I, I think you should go for that flash if you brought it up. I think you should go for that. But, well, I don't know the price. I need the value. Didn't uh, I? If it's like minus know. 135, minus 140, then no, I'm not I'm interested. Here for, flash. Sorry? Second. This is why I'm here for. One second. No, you're here to give winners. <laughs> to, to tell you you're not my secretary. How much is uh, buyer and over 3.5? <laughs> buyer much is and it? over 3.5 is minus 125. See, uh, I'm not having it. I might as well just do. No, 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 no. Because a buy might might just go there two, three nil and bring them off and just rest and just play. Um, no, anyway, I think you boys have got the best value, so I'm going to cheer you on. Uh, let's have a little look at the official picks. We all think Bayern are going to crush it. And by the way, just for this uh, midfield um, debate on Musiala, Bellingham, Gabby, I, I've I've got Musiala being the best. Of a very, very good bunch, by the way. Musiala, anytime goal scorer at plus 150. Bayern, first half at minus one at plus 100. And first half over one and a half goals at minus 133. I think all three of them are going to hit. So uh, well done, us. That's me just like getting on your glory. 